Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of Eve University, and as I record this, I am on the Singularity test server. On Tuesday, January the 24th, 2012, uh, two days from now, the date of this recording, uh, Crowd Control Productions is going to push a new patch, the Crucible 1.1 patch, to the live Tranquility server. And in that patch, we are going to hopefully have the new Neocom, which you can play around with yourself if you're on Singularity. Now, for those of you who are new players, the Neocom is an interface bar from which a very large number of the game's features can be accessed, both in my videos and in the advice that I give on the EVE University Mumble uh, when uh, players ask me questions. A lot of times, when I'm trying to explain to somebody how to find something, 90% of the time it starts with the Neocom. And since it's being revamped, uh, I figured it would probably be a good idea to make a video j covering the changes. By default, your Neocom will probably look like this on Tuesday. Right? So these are what the buttons are going to look like. Uh, the thing is, this is reconfigurable to some extent. You're still limited to a line left and a line right, and you can How's auto hide supposed to, to work? Hmm, strange. Anyway, there's supposed to be an auto hide function for the Neocom, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. You can also disable blink notifications, although the blink notifications are a bit different. But the buttons can be rearranged. So if I want the fitting button to be at the bottom of the list, I can do that. If I want the help button to be somewhere up here near the middle, I can do that. If I want to get rid of the help button completely, I can do that. Uh, as a matter of fact, most of these buttons can be removed, so let me go ahead and remove most of them right now. And I'm going to show you what the immutable parts of the Neocom are. Uh, so what we are reduced to here is the bare minimum for the Neocom. These are the things that you can't change. Uh, the chat button you can rearrange amongst your other buttons, but it must be present. Everything else must be present as in, and is fixed in place. The top is the new Eve menu, which I will explain in a moment. Next is your portrait along with the progress training bar for your current skill, if you have a skill in training. And left-clicking your portrait still brings up the character sheet. And as I bring up the character sheet, you'll notice that the icon for the character sheet just appeared on the Neocom. Right? At the bottom of the Neocom, I have the current Eve time. Right? And above that, if I'm docked in a station, I have items, ships, and undock. Yes, um, this may be a little bit tricky placement for some people. Be very careful. You don't want to accidentally undock while trying to open your ship hangar. All right, so be very careful about that. But this can't be rearranged. None of these buttons can be moved. All right. So these are the immutable parts of the Neocom. So at the top, we have the Eve menu. And you can either left click on it, or the default shortcut is backslash. And as a matter of fact, let's, let me figure out where that shortcut can be rebound. I'm be betting it's the window sub tab. Yes, here we go. So the Escape menu, the Shortcuts tab, the Window sub tab, Open Eve menu. And the default shortcut for this is going to be Backslash. Of course, you can change that to whatever you like. You can change it to Tilde or whatever. So when you open the Eve menu, you're going to find all of the various functions that you could access from the old Neocom. So we've got the character sheet, we got the certificates, we got the people and places window, we've got the fitting, we've got the map, the assets window, the journal, and the help functions. But you'll also see submenus up here. So for accessories, you can find your uh, your web browser bookmarks. Keep in mind, old players, those of you who are accustomed to talking about bookmarks in space, those are now called locations. So wherever the Eve menu is talking about bookmarks, they're talking about your browser bookmarks, the addresses that you commonly, uh, 
that you commonly visit, like your Alliance forums, or the EVE University wiki, or EVEonline.com. Uh, you've got the browser itself, uh, you've got the jukebox, the calculator, your notepad, and your log. Under the business submenu, you have the market, contracts, wallet, science and industry, and the agent finder. Under the social submenu, you have the email, the calendar, the corporation, uh, so the sovereignty dashboard, <coughs> the fleet window, and uh, although I, I don't know why they have chat channels here in the Eve menu, since you can't actually get rid of that from the Neocom. But anyway, so all of the functions that you need uh, can be accessed from the Eve menu. And if you've decided that you use something frequently enough that you want to tack that on, uh, for example, I always want my wallet to be available, you can left click and drag it from the Eve menu into your Neocom and it will slot that in. So now I have the wallet on my Neocom. Right? And you can put these things in whatever order that you like, whatever order makes sense to you. So suppose I want to have my character sheet here. I want to have... Huh. Training window. I would have thought the training window would be in here somewhere. Because when I open the training queue, there's certainly a button for that. Where did it... Where is it in the... Huh. Training queue is not part of the Eve menu. Interesting. Well, now that the training queue button is here, I can rearrange that. And will that stay when I close the training queue window? No, it will not. Very annoying. Oh, well. So you can grab whatever things you commonly use. Your journal. You can grab, let's see, the log. You do have to make sure to click and drag it from the Eve menu. So click and drag, let go, and there's the log. All right. uh, if I want to have my people in places, I can put that right here. I can shift it down if I missed. Um, so I can configure the Neocom which, with whatever buttons that I want or that I don't want. If I want the calendar to be a button, I can put it on there. If I don't want it to be a, if I let me put that on there. If I don't want it to be a button, I can right-click and remove it. All right. If you need to find something in the Neocom and it's not one of the icons that's set to appear on your bar, you can always go to the Eve menu and poke around and see if you can find it from there. All right. Uh, in the future, my explanations about where to find something in the Neocom will start off with the Eve menu, since I can't make any assumptions about what buttons you do or don't have on the Neocom. And so, enjoy your new Neocom on Tuesday, and thank you for watching.